Thank you so much, Zoe, for that conversation. Because, ladies, we know this. We know that when you're on your period, you more than often avoid any physical activities. And this is completely understandable. I get you, girl. But studies have shown that during lighter menstrual days, moderate intensity exercises and even yoga can be beneficial. So working out on your period can help to reduce bloating, minimize the pain of cramping, boost your mood, and also improve energy levels. And Mr. Raul Damone is going to be taking us through a workout to help us ease those pain. And you know what? I'm not even even joking that for some reason when I am on my period and this is weird to say it out loud I feel like I, I'm stronger I, I'm able to lift um, heavier weights I just feel yeah. much better when I am training on period. that's so true right? and that's normal especially during the different phases of the period we have uh, more bloated more bloated effects we have more pain I like how you say we, like <laughs> we share this common I'm thing. Inclusive, okay <laughs> <laughs> so there's pain obviously there's the, the, the bloated effects and then there's also a period where hormonal changes are taking place and you can actually capitalize on that because with that comes an increased amount of strength. So when you really get specific and if you're even an athlete, you can sometimes use this to your advantage. But what we're going to do is use all our I knowledge. I hope you. Let's do this. <laughs> it works, it works, it's feel. Uh, but what we're going to be doing is focusing on something that a, a lot more people can do, uh, women obviously especially, uh, when you are suffering from your period. And what we're focusing on is a little bit of a variation from, if you're aware of HIT training, which is high intensity interval training, what we're going to focus on is lit training. Now, I know you like that word. I know you've done it before, but this is a different version. Now, this is low intensity interval training. And what it means is that we're going to reduce the impact on our joints. We're going to re reduce the risk, but we're still going to get a cardio feel out of this. So the breaks are going to be a little bit longer, but you're still going to be able to benefit from the same, in the same sort of conditions that you would in a HIIT style training. It's just going to take a little bit longer, so we need more time. And what we're going to do is actually grab some weights for this and have some fun. So Ooh. we've got some crush bottles that we're going to use as our makeshift okay. weights. And again, I, I love doing this, guys. The reason why I always use water bottles is to show you at home that you don't have any excuse. You don't have to go out to the shop and spend a lot of money on expensive dumbbells and kettlebells. You've got equipment at home, and there's a perfect hack for you right now. All right, so let's get into the good stuff, Jamie. Yes. Using our bottles as weights, of course, you can increase the intensity depending on your strength. Remember, though, we're going for a minute long on these exercises. Normally, it's 30 seconds intensity, 15 seconds off. This is a minute on and 30 seconds to a minute off as well. All right, you ready for this? So I'm we're starting ready. with something cool. It's a curtsy squat. You guys might be used to it, but we'll start off with a curtsy squat. Let's just uh, break it down, all right? So a curtsy squat is just stepping to the side, coming back up and then we're rolling over to the other end. But we're gonna start lifting up our weights to the side as we do that. So we're gonna continue to get some stimulation. And although it's not an intense exercise, it's an effective one because we're using our glutes as well as our shoulders and our delts for this one. So we're getting more stimulation. We are getting the blood to flow up and down, both to the bottom and the top halves of the body. And that of course is going to give us the stimulation that we're looking for in this exercise. And A minute can, on. And you can still think of chocolate while you're doing this because that's <laughs> no. what we do. That's that what we do when we're on our period. We think of all the yummy things we get to do. All right, so that's a nice compound movement which involves a lot of, of, of the body as well. Now we're going to focus on something that involves more balance and stability. It'll help with the core, it'll help with the glutes as well, and again, the upper body, a little bit of the biceps in the back too. So we're going to balance on one leg to start this one off. Already proprioception means that we're going to need to focus, all right? Stabilizers are coming into play. Now I want you to try and kick your leg in the air back as far as you can while keeping Keeping your spine nice and neutral, the weights will drop down to the ground. Beautiful position there, Jamie. <laughs> See if you can keep this at home, guys. The more solid, the better. And now in this position, you want to raise your dumbbells, your kettlebells, whatever weights you have, all the way up, squeezing and then lifting it straight back down to the ground and control this movement while you can. You want to go for 30 seconds of each side. So you're going to split this one up for the total minute and that'll give you a killer Ooh. workout. How's that feel? Ooh. Burns the glutes, yeah? Burning! <laughs> Hello, hi. Yeah, man, feeling that one too. Now, here's a cool one as well. Again, we're gonna be efficient in our movements using both upper and lower body. So you guys are all used to a squat, of course, getting the glutes nice and far back, knees not too far over the toes, although if your knees are over your toes, it's not a bad thing. A lot of people do do that. Just try focus on uh, accentuating the glutes and getting them to really kick back. Now, from the squatted position, I'm nice and low, the weight's hanging on the ground. As I'm raising 
my squat up into the air, I'm also raising the weights up and doing a high pull. This is gonna work those shoulders and delts now. I don't know if you feel that at all. Yeah. And then on the way down, you wanna release your squat and also at the same time, drop the weights down to the ground. Now again, of course, a minute on, and you can see the pace that Jamie and I are going at, it's perfect. You wanna really control this. You wanna be in control and you wanna make an effect with every single movement that you are performing in this exercise. If you're feeling comfortable and the pain's not quite there, or you're in a milder phase of your period as well, you can increase the intensity, you can increase the tempo of these exercises, but just remember it's low impact intensity training, all right? So that means that you're gonna go for a longer period than you would with HIT. That means you can enjoy this, you can get into the zone, you can get some mental focus, and at the end of the day, put some music on, half an hour to hours gone, and whoa, I've just smashed the full workout, right? and you didn't even feel it. How easy was that? And then you can go cry in the bathroom and be like, oh my gosh, I hate my life. <laughs> oh, actually, not really. But this is good, this is good. Got the heart rate up, definitely felt the burn with a few yeah. of those exercises, but definitely something that you at home should try. Enjoy, guys. <laughs>